ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ or mission critical applications the high availability high availability setup is very important here high availability setup here so why because why high availability setup is required here in case of any issues with the primary automatically the database services will fail over to the secondary node here automatically suppose if you see example here in one data center or one country we have the hana database is available here so if you have one more hana database if you plan it in the hana database site hana database site so in case of any issues with the the primary hana system here that's we will call it as the hana primary then if you install the one more system that is called the hana secondary here so in case of if any issues with the primary the primary system will will become the will fail over will fail over to the secondary means whatever the service are running here all will fail over to the secondary node here secondary hana system here in this case we don't have any downtime we don't have any downtime here so it will be stopped and it will be restarted on the the secondary site here so then we can work on the primary site issues and everything here what are the issues and everything we can work it out here so this way we can avoid the downtime so the availability of the systems are very high so that is the reason it's a high availability topic here so normally the typical architecture of the the hana systems are suppose like it's like it's a normally here we know normally we know sap so it's a primary it's a primary application server right it's sap you know sap is the three tier architecture here right so it's a presentation layer then application layer then database layer here so in the database layer database is the very important here for the applications why because all the data will resides into the inside of the database in the form of tables here in the form of tables here this is the presentation right this is the sap layer here so sap sap will depend on the database so database is the very important for the every product not only sap non sap products also the db is the very important here most important product here so in this case we will install the db has the db in the high availability mode means so in primary primary we install the one primary primary and secondary we can install it here so this is in the one data center one country this is the one data center another country here or same country and different system we can install it here so in this way in this way here we have the virtual ip concept here so here sap will connect to the here then here in the ana side which one is the active here either this one is active or either this one is active here this one is active or this one is active it will connect to the here here ana so ana one here ana primary one ana two here ana second system here right so primary secondary concept here ana h means primary secondary concept here so primary always the database sap application will connect to the the primary only primary only in case of some issues are happens here in case of some issue happened some disaster recovery or some floods happened in this data center there is a some power fluctuation some network issue some hardware failures have happened here immediately the services will fail over to the secondary then the data hana sap will connect to the secondary here but what about the data here so till when it is connected here we have the some transaction or middle of the transactions how it will be synced to the secondary server here here there is a primary to secondary there is a replication data will be replicated here this is called the replication setup 
So this setup, we have to perform it here. Enter this setup, we have to perform. Replicating the data from primary to secondary. Immediately, in the primary SAP side, if any transaction is done, that will be saved into the database level. Immediately, that will go to the secondary HANA database here. <coughs> secondary HANA database here. This is called the HANA replication concept here. HANA replication concept here. As part of this replication concept, data will be replicated from the primary to secondary. In case of any failover or something is happened in the primary, automatically secondary will become active, then data already replicated. So no issue. Then transactions will continue from the secondary database from here. So this is the concept of the HANA high availability concept here. HANA high availability concept here. So to achieve this configuration, to achieve this configuration, to perform this configuration, so what we have to do here, to perform this configuration, what we have to do from basic side here, right? So in the, to perform this configuration here, so both the operating systems, we have to install the, you have, you have two operating systems, which should be the different operating systems here, okay? Let's draft the steps here, right? So in the HANA 1, like the host name is, suppose like HANA 1, okay? HANA 1 is the host name here. Here, we have to install the app OS. The OS and the IP should be different compared to the, both the side OS should be installed. Basically, both the side, both the side, both the side means in the HANA 1, HANA 2, uh, both the side, the OS, and the similar, the similar file systems, similar, the file systems should be installed, should be set up. Okay, should be set up here. Same in the HANA 2 also, in the HANA 2 also, in the HANA 2 also. So, OS, same OS version, same OS version and same file systems, same file systems should be should be set up should be set up both the side basically here whatever you do same should be available here if you have whatever the size we have same size should be have here in the primary secondary here then once you've done it in the here in the replication configuration side here we have to both the side so install install hana db install the hana db install the hana db so install the hana db with same install the hana db okay install the hana db so and here also you need to install the hana db with same sid and same instance number so whatever the sid you are doing installation here in the hana 2 operating system also you have to do the similar setup here you have to do the similar setup here you have to perform it here you have to install it here right you have to install it so once the installation is done so copy the copy the ssfs keys copy the ssfs keys here fs keys so from where so it's like let sys global then in the sys global there is a data folder security security folder in the security folder we have to copy copy the files and uh, place into place into secondary hana server secondary hana server we have to place it here the similar like place it means so copy the like uh, maybe i can say like so move the or copy the i can say like copy the files from primary to secondary the first step will give the clear information that's it okay uh, you no need to write it again so just to copy the ssf keys so where it is available in the your data folder in the data folder directory here in the sys global if you go to the maybe if in the operating system level i will just go to the here us sap then hd4 then sys right here sys global then sys security <coughs> this global and this security here then there is a 
here R R S C S S F keys here. This keys, this keys data and the keys we need to exchange to the secondary HANA database here. Secondary HANA database we have to exchange to the secondary here, right? So we can exchange it. So it is the OS, right? Either we can use the SCP command to move to the secondary HANA system, or we can use the Win SCP. Win SCP is the tool to copy the to transfer the files from primary to secondary HANA, HANA host. We can copy it here. We can copy to here. This this is this can be helpful here. This will work here, right? You can copy here. So once you copy it here, then this is the prerequisites, right? These are the things we have to consider here. Then the fourth step is the fourth step is here. So <clears throat> take the take the full DB backup, full DB backup on primary. This is the primary. We will assume this is the primary. Oh, we have to take the full full database backup. We have to take it out here. Then so <coughs> enable the replication we have to enable the replicate we have to enable the replication on primary we have to enable the replication on primary so from system db from system db we have to enable the replication here from system db we have to enable the replication here then log into the secondary using the system db system db you need to register you need to you need to register here these commands i will explain it how to register you need to register the secondary on primary db then so stop stop the system then you need to register once you register it here then what we have to do once you stop it here we can add the one more step here so restart the system Third point is once you once you copy the once you copy the SSFS keys from primary to secondary and then restart the secondary DB secondary DB restart it HDB stop and HDB start commands. So why because why because why we have to do this configuration. So in the step number three, you have copy the SSF keys from here to secondary. Then once you copy it, once you copy it, we need to restart it. See whether the database will come to the online status or not here. Then step number. So then here you can take the so take the full DB backup on the primary. Then enable the replication. Then here we need to stop the system. We need to stop the system here, right? Then you need to register the secondary on the primary. We have to register it. So we have to register it here. Then start the start the secondary DB. Then see the then last step check the replication replication modes replication replication is happening happening or not. We can check it out. So these are the configuration steps we need to perform for the HANA HA and replication setup here, replication modes here. So what replication modes we have to select it here. So there are the three replication modes, two operation modes you need to choose it. When you are registering, when you are, you need to register the secondary and the primary while registering. So we need to, we need to, <coughs> we need to set the, we need to choose the, we need to, choose the replication replication and operational modes operational modes we have to choose it here then once you've done it then start the secondary db here so what are those replication and operation modes it will come right so then this is the this is the overall theoretically how to perform this configuration so this is the steps we need to follow in the primary and secondary so this is the HA setup. So they will ask you, they have you configured the HA configuration? Yes. Can you explain the setup here? So then we need to follow the this procedure here. Ana one, Ana two. So we have to follow the these steps in the system. And only we can successfully implement it in the system here, right? 
you can only successfully implement the setup here. So just to log into the secondary here, the primary HANA system here means whatever the DB you install in the one HANA host, same way you have to install on the secondary HANA host here. Same SID, same instance number we have to give it here. Then only the configuration and the replication will work from primary to secondary. Otherwise, it won't come to it won't install it. It won't install. Right. So right click on the system. Once it is installed, then right click, then go to the here, configure the system replication here. So you have to configure the system replication with to here. So HD4 ADM SID ADM. Then we need to choose the here. Then it will it will it will open the one prompt. So here we can do the replication. So here we can use the multiple ways we can configure it here. So you can use the OS level commands, OS level commands, then HANA Studio, we can use it. HANA Studio, you can use it. The third one is the HANA Cockpit, we can use it. Three ways we can do the configurations here. So just to enable the system replication here. So enable the system replication on the primary here. So from system DB, we have to enable it here. So once you enable it here, see here, you need to perform the backup. DB backup, we have to perform it. Then we have to provide the site name. Then we need to perform the DB backup here. So just to perform the CRI, then we have to perform the backup here. So we need to take the full database backup. We have to take it out. Then we have to enable it here. That's why before before the fifth step, there is a fourth step. Perform the full DB backup. That's why I'm telling. So step by step, clearly sequence wise, we have to perform the steps here, right? So this is the HANA high SA setup here. So if you start up the practically, so practically we can start it. We cannot start from today because we do need one more HANA system here. We don't have one more HANA system currently. I have 